Hey, so basically I will do in. Sorry about that. I'm just doing some of my bags out. Just put my jacket on. Yes, I'm still in the same outfit I was in the other video. There's no point me changing in between videos. It's just wasting a top and that. I know that it might look hygienic, but I'm filming on the same day as my what I got for my 20th birthday. So this is actually my birthday haul. I'm super excited to film this because, oh, what am I supposed to do about Primark stuff? Oh, I don't know. Um, I might turn into a try on haul, I don't know. You'll see in the title when I've actually thought about it. So I was, it was my, I, it was my birthday on the 5th of July and I went out to Leeds on Wednesday, just gone and today's the 22nd of July, so the Wednesday before this Sunday, so 22nd, 21st, 20, 19th, 18th, I went out on to Leeds with my grandma on the 18th and I bought quite a bit from Primark for my birthday money as I was wanting new clothes. So this video is all with my birthday money. I will not state how much I got for my birthday but I will be saying what the prices were with the stuff I bought. So this video is actually um, of many different shops like Mountain Warehouse, Primark and Asda and also Morrison's as well. But one of them is not in it because that was not for my birthday money. So, without further ado, let's get on with this birthday haul. This video is not going to be in any particular order. It's actually kind of in order now because I went to Mountain Warehouse first, actually when I got my money, and then Primark, and then there. So, it's actually quite in order at the moment, but oh well. So, I went to Mountain Warehouse, I bought a new coat. This was actually with my mum's money. Um, I bought a new coat, and I'm super chuffed because I've been needing one for a while because I didn't get a new coat last year, I've had the same coat for two years and it was a size 10 and I obviously have grown, like my chest has got bigger, my hips have got bigger it's actually if this is for a chest or what I'm saying um, but I got a new coat, this is a size 12 I must say now it is rather humongous on me but I will grow into it because my other one's ways it fits me but it's kind of small as well so like it's got a small thing kind of thing but this is from my warehouse, it's a brand new coat, size 12, very, very long sleeves, like, can't get into the camera lens. And this was originally, oh, you've got me kidding, where's the price? Oh, the, ah, I know what it was now. This was originally £80 and I got it for £34.99. They had a sale on and I obviously need a new coat. It's a different design to my other one as it's got a pocket here and it's got a thicker um, fleece inside. And it's also got these, the, I don't really call these, elastics on the hood, that's what you call it. And it is pink, which you all know I love the colour pink. And it's really nice, really, really nice. It's got big pockets as well. I can't really show you much more because that's all it's got. It's just a coat and I'm going to take taking this on holiday with me as well because that's why I really bought it for holiday and obviously for now because I need a new coat for now. So that was from out the warehouse. I know I like I couldn't really show you much more of that but it's just a coat and it's very nice fleece in it and it's really good. Next place is Primark. That was quite rather quick that on two minutes of a coat anyway. Primark. Now, do I try on or do I not? I can only watch how we try on, so I will try on for you. So, I went to Primark on Wednesday, just gone with my grandma, and I spent £39 on clothes. Summary gloves for my holiday because I needed some more because I've gone through my wardrobe and just done a full on summer clean. So, at Primark, I spent £39, as I said. Um, some of these. So some of these are summery, well more, actually all of them are summery, but I bought more new tops um, because I needed new tops because my wardrobe is nearly empty of new tops. I need to stop repeating myself. Not in a particular order because some of these are actually over the way around like first, second, third, fourth, but I'm not going to bother. I got myself a play suit. My grandma said this actually looked rather nice and that um, it looked nice on me. I didn't try it on in the shop because I thought if it didn't fit, or if I don't like it, I can always bring it back and get a refund. This was £12 and it's size 12. And it's by Denim Co. Certifi certified. Certified. I can't even talk. It's like my video. 
So it's just a, basically a blue um, play suit. The straps do adjust to your body just to make sure that the bra, I don't know, the, this bit here, I don't know what you call it, would cover your cleavage. And it is elasticated in the back area as well. And on the hips in the middle, I don't know what you call this stuff guys, they have um, elastics as well so that you can pull it in. And it's just a really nice play suit. There was a top which I really wanted, which was like an off shoulder denim top and it was gorgeous. Didn't have any left. The only size they had was like 22 and I'm like, I'm not 22, so obviously no. So yeah, this was £12 and I'm now going to try it on. I love this play suit. It's so cute and it's really, really comfy. Yes, I know I am on my bed. I My bedroom is a state and there's just not enough room to stand up and show you the outfit on the floor, so I've done bed, yes, it is an inconvenience, but so what, this play suit is gorgeous, I love it, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who loves play suits. So that was the play suit, as you can tell, my coat, my gun, my netting is now down, because I didn't really, I closed the curtains and that whilst doing this, so yeah. So yeah, that was a blue suit, the blue suit, the blue play suit. I generally love this. It's so nice and it's just different from the play suits I've had. Like they've been tucked in on the hips or they've just not been adjustable. But this one's just really nice and plain and casual. I will be wearing this whilst I'm away. Hopefully the weather's nice due to this heat wave last until August it should be. Um, but yeah, this play suit goes really nice and there's a puzzle. So I'm out of breath now. There's a possibility of putting like a top underneath, but I think it would look a bit weird. But yeah, I really like this and I would definitely recommend anybody who loves play suits or just loves summery products, like clothing, to get this. So yeah, that was This next product I fell in love with instantly. To see this in the reduced section as well even made me more happier. Um, I must give a story in this though. When I picked it up, I thought it was just a nice tank top. No, like, like when I don't know what tank tank top kind of top this is. So I'm just gonna say a top. I just thought it was a top without sleeves, and it's just gonna be like that with no sleeves. Got home to try it on, and look what there is. The sleeves. I love this top. I've tried it on, and I fell in love with it instantly when I got home. I didn't try it on in the fitting rooms. The fitting rooms are way too hot at Primark. But this was on sale from six pound to three. And it's a size 12 and it actually fits me. I love this top. It makes me feel a lot, a whole lot more, a whole lot older than I actually feel like I am. Like I feel, um, like it makes me look older than wearing just tops like this. And it's very summery and I love the design. It's a pink background with a pink floral front. And obviously it only covers the chest area. It doesn't, it isn't a full top. So this top's going to be nice for the beach or when I go out to Abbasock or just... Just for casual, this isn't really casual wear though, it's more like, well it is to be honest with you, you can put this with shorts, you can put it with jeans, which I've been putting with today, but as, you, as I said, I love this top, it makes me feel so girly, and it makes me feel my age, which I am. I adore this top, I'm so happy I bought it. The worst thing about it though is the straps are not in the right place, if you know what I mean. They fall from the shoulders and they don't stay in the right place, as you can see in the video. They don't stay in the right place and it is a bit low, but I love it. It's very summery, very girly. Just the straps are the worst bit of it. If the straps are in the right place, I would love it 100%. I do, but I would prefer the straps to stay in the same spot. There is one problem with this top though, as you saw in the video of me trying it on. The straps don't stay on my bra strap because the sleeves are there, which really irritates me because when I've worn this without sleeves, it's perfect, but put sleeves on and the, the strap just doesn't stay still. It either falls off my shoulder or it just doesn't go where I want it to go. I love this top otherwise, but just the straps really irritate me because I keep having to adjust them just to make sure that like my pride and show and stuff like that, but this top is rather cute and I love it. So we're back to the classic Rachel tops, which are just the normal t-shirts with no cuttings, no added trimmings or anything like that. This one just says Sunday is a 
baby pink top with I think it's pink no it's red red writing which says Sunday on it size 12 and it was four pound just normal top you can actually crop this as well like a crop it to just do it's like like I'm not gonna crop it because I'm taking a holiday but like I could just make it look like this which would look actually not too short that's a bit too short but not I mean I could crop it but yeah Sunday with love heart I love Sundays and now I should try to try this on the rest of these except two are actually normal tops like this I do have one more top which is like this I do no two more I also have a pyjama set, I will not be trying that on because that does um, show a bit more skin and I prefer not to try pyjamas on because everyone knows what pyjamas look like on. So yeah, let's try this Sunday top on. This is just a basic Sunday top, there's not much else to show about it. Just a basic pink top, it would be nice if I cropped it and just a probably will it up on holiday as well. As I said, this top has no trimmings, it's just a normal top. And it fits perfectly, it's a bit big in some areas, but it's just a normal top and there's no extra um, little bits to it and there isn't anything special about it, it's just a Sunday top. The next one's a stitch top. Right, I've got a story behind this again. Basically, how can I put this? I had the stitch, little on the stitch top, but we just had stitch in it um, everywhere. White top with stitch on it all over it. Me and my, sis, my sister had a magazine and there was a black ink in it and ended up getting to my top. Tried to wash it out, it didn't wash it out, so it's gone in the bin. It just will not wash out. And for just £4 just to get a new one, I was completely fine with it. This one just says stitch on it with stitch in the middle. It is a blue top and nothing special again, just a really cute stitch tag. Let's try it on. This stitch top is adorable. I love the clothes on it and I love how cute stitch is. This top would look really nice rolled up as well. I could also crop this. Well I could also get a bobble and um, like when we get it on wrinkle it up like roll it up because it is actually quite snug which I said in the voiceover around the neck and I think it just looked quite cute if I rolled it up and had it like under the stitch and had like a crop top pass in the way. So that was, that was the stitch top. The last normal top, excuse me, is this Mickey Mouse one. Which is rather nice and very in your face. Size 12 again, um, it's just a normal Mickey Mouse top. I like this because it's in your face and it's got Mickey Mouse all over it. Size 12, £4 and it's even got a Mickey Mouse logo um, label. So yeah, let's try. This top stands out in a crowd. It would look really nice rolled up and it will roll up on holiday. It will go with jeans and also even a denim skirt and also shorts. I love this top. It is very nice fitting and it will roll up when and go away. So as you saw, I actually rolled this up and it looks a whole lot better than it does when you've got it on normally. I prefer them rolled up because I feel a lot more older. And they just look so much better when they're rolled up, just to expose some skin for the summer. Just to make it a bit more summery. Now, this is the pyjama set, which I boxed and I did a new one because my other one's too small, even though this, no, that's not the pyjama set. Here we are. The other, this, this is the same size as the one I've got now, and they're wearing the night because it's a bit warm. But I think this one will fit better because it's got a new improved sizing. This one's Team Disney, it's got Pluto, Mickey, Minnie and Donald Duck. And then on the shorts it's got Pluto, Minnie, um, Mickey and Donald Duck. So they actually are rather cute, I'm not trying this on, it is like a tank top. It's a vest top I should say, grey vest top with Team Disney. And then the shorts which are rather in your face again. This is a size medium, this is size 12 to 14. And it's actually a present as well, you can always put it as a present because it's to and from. And then... Um, it was £6 and I'm rather chuffed with this. A nice new pyjama set. The next two tops are tank, not, not tank tops, vest tops and these are actually adjustable as well. They're rather cheap at only £3 each which I was rather amazed at knowing it's a Disney stuff because they're a Disney stuff for normal £4 to £5 each. This is a Minnie Mouse top, obviously it's a grey background with Minnie in the middle with the letter, her spelling her name out. 
I love this top and because it's obviously a vest top it's going to be nice to go with shorts or like a skirt which I will probably, I don't actually have any skirts. Um, I do have a dress at 18th birthday dress I wore from 18th but I haven't worn, I've worn it since for the heat wave and it's too small. But yeah this top can go nice with shorts or jeans and I'm going to try it on. I love these two vest tops coming up. They suck. I just want to say suck to your body because they roll they roll up easily as well. But they sculpt to your body and they're just so nice and very nice for the summer because they are strappy. So as you saw, it did actually kind of suck, like stick to my body image. Like it sucked in and um the hourglass kind of thing which I really like because it's a nice tight top so when you put it on it's nice and tight and you can also adjust on the back so that it obviously doesn't show your bra off or your cleavage off stuff like that but I really like the top and I also have another one because there's two designs and I was right chuffed that I found some vest tops because I really wanted some from a holiday like not tops like this only different tops so this one's the same as in it's Disney but this one's a bright red top and it says the original Mickey Mouse, Walt, Walt Disney Co, 1928. And it also has adjustable straps on it and it's also £3. So let's try it on. Last but not least is the red one. This one is really nice as well. The exact same as the other one, just a different design. And I love how it sculpts to the body as it makes. It, I just love it. I just love it because it sculpts my body. And because obviously it's a strap top and it keeps me cool when it's hot. They're actually also really springy, like they're really stretchy. I love these tops and I wish I actually bought them in the past. So that came to £39 and obviously I took my reasonable bag. So now is the last stuff I bought from um, the birthday money. I do, um, this is the last main stuff I bought from birthday money. Because all my birthday money is gone now, so. Last birthday presents and these are from Geisley. So some of them are from like Morrison's and two of them are from actually Asda. These are in Tinkerbell bag. So this one is from as no, this one's from Morrison, do Morrison's first. I bought now a hundred, which I was really looking forward to buying. I was gonna leave it to my holiday knowing that I've actually saved up two hundred pounds this year. Last year I saved up 170, this year I've saved up I've saved up two hundred. I actually had to put um ten pa um five pounds towards it of my own money, even no, as in all of the my holiday money is my own money. But from what I've saved up, I only saved up like £195. They are £5 off for some reason. Actually, when I added it all up, it actually came up to £208. But because I missed a penny at Halifax, it took a penny off, and which reducted, it reduced the amount that came out there. And then also, because I used Coinstar at Morrison's, it does take a percentage off for their services. So, yeah. But I saved up £200. Super happy, and that's only got to last me so long because um, I get paid whilst I'm away. So, yes. So, I bought now 100. As I said, I was going to buy some holiday of my um, holiday money, but then because this was on offer at Morrison's for £10 instead of 13 I bought it instantly yesterday because I went up yesterday to do all the post office stuff, Morrison's stuff, and Halifax stuff. So, yes, I bought now 100. I actually thought it had 100 tracks in it, which sounds rather stupid, but it's only got a CD of latest hits and CD of now greatest hits. So the greatest, the now classics are actually, um, how am I going to put it, they're all the old um, songs which were in the older albums. There's actually some from the um, new albums. But yeah, it's got two CDs, I'm really chuffed to have, have now 100. And then because they have come out with now 100, they're also coming out with now, that's what I call now, which probably will come out whilst I'm on holiday. So I can always buy that whilst I'm away as well. But yeah, now 100, CD1, now 100, CD2. So yeah, bought now 100 and I really want to know when now 100, now that's what I call now, comes out. But it won't say on that. So yeah. That will be getting ripped onto my iPod for my holiday and my batteries blinking so it's gone this video. Then I went to Asda and I got myself a new book. This is Louise Pentland's 
new book called Wild Like Me and I'm super excited to read it, it was only £4. It is retailed at £8 but Double H Smith do it quite more expensive than 8 quid. So it is a rather thick book, it is 300, no, let's see properly. Yeah, 391 pages long. I'm taking this holiday with me because this decided to die whilst I was talking about my book. My lovely jubbly Panasonic Lumix has died. So I was talking about this, I'm taking a holiday, this is extra zoomed in which I really don't like and the lighting's absolutely rubbish. It's actually alright but this camera doesn't pick it up right because <coughs> this is my vlogging camera. So yeah, Louise's new book, Wild Like Me, I'll take them holiday with me. And then I also bought myself some new jeans, which I will not be trying on because I've tried a load, more, load of products on and I'm just too tired. And because they're just normal jeans, so you should be fine with just seeing jeans. So these are skinny jeans, size 12, they were £10. They weren't the colour I was looking for, but they no longer do the colour that I wear, which is like a dark blue. This is like a navy blue, but it isn't a sky blue. So, yeah, skinnies, really like them, they fit for once, these these skinnies I've got on now actually are a bit slack because I've lost weight, but yeah, really chuffed with them, and that's all about with my holiday money. So yeah, that was my birthday haul, thank you for watching this video, remember to like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you all on Tuesday's brand new video guys, bye, don't smile, bye.